finally a ride on the job where I learned to be a weather forecaster. <laughs> hey, we're at the National Weather Service headquarters here in Portland. These are the folks who put out the watches and the warnings that I relay to you. Let's go see all the information and toys they look at. Everybody seems to be working hard. <laughs> Rebecca, hello. Hi. And you're local. I am. I am. Born and raised in Oregon City. Oh my gosh. What do you love yeah. most about Northwest weather? Oh man, I think it's the fact that it is always changing. As someone who forecasted in Alaska, Pacific Northwest weather is one of the most difficult weather areas to forecast. You worked for. in Alaska. I did. So how cold does it have to be for you to put a big coat on? Ooh, once we start getting into the upper uh, 30s, I definitely put on my kind of mid-level coat, but the really cold temperatures, when I start to put on the parka, that's about negative 10. Your least favorite weather joke that people throw your way. Man, I wish I could keep my job and be 50% wrong. I'm just I know. sick to death of that joke. <laughs> so we're gonna check our rain gauge, which we do six times a day. Six times a or day. Or no, six times, four times a day, every six hours, there we go. Rain's not in the forecast <laughs> today, by the way. So we are, you, I'm sure you know this, we're the official reporting site for downtown Portland, yep. KGW TV, so we have this exact instrument, if you will, on top of the KGW studios. Now, I have to confess, if it's clear, we're not running up and checking the rain gauge. <laughs> Brianna, you're working on a special event weather forecast. Yes, a little bit ago I was working on the planning forecast for the Oregon State and University of Oregon rivalry game. And you're an Oregon State grad, both yes, undergrad and masters. Yes. You're going to be producing or giving the same exact information to both sides? I do. Interesting. I try not to let my bias <laughs> affect my job. <laughs> John, you look like the senior forecaster on shift today. You look like the senior <laughs> forecaster on shift today. Yes, I am our shift leader today. <laughs> what is the passion that drove you to do weather? What do you really enjoy about now that you have made this your career? After 10 years of corporate life, I thought, hmm, I'm not happy anymore. I want to want to go pursue one of my two first childhood loves, and that was uh, space, NASA. I wanted to work for either oh, yeah. NASA or the National Weather Service. Wow. It was a, a lightning event in, uh, when I was living in Vancouver as a kid. And, and I was like, wow, that's awesome. We're going to have snow this year, John? Absolutely. In downtown Portland? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Look at the camera and say that. Give me that maybe okay. one more time. Maybe. That's good. It like is, that. that is, to me, that is our absolute <laughs> hardest thing to forecast with absolute certainty. We can feel pretty certain on, on wind. We can feel pretty certain that, yeah, it's gonna rain in this day, but the influence of our warm Pacific Ocean, the Columbia River, the Willamette Valley, how those intersect, uh, cold air coming down the Columbia River from Eastern Oregon and Eastern Washington and the Columbia Basin. That's our big forecast problem and probably what gives us the biggest grief and will result in the biggest impact on everybody's life. You ever see me on TV? Yeah. What do you think, John? <laughs> so, wait a minute. You're so standing we're, up. We're going to do this. Wait a minute, cut. <laughs> How do you feel the need to stand up? No, Rod, Rod, you're a great communicator, and I know this works, but we're going to have winds coming through the gorge. Yeah, that one. through the gorge. <laughs> <laughs>